Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Israel is a nation of people. It's a, it's a genealogy. It's a, it's a yeah. genealogy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Their father, Jacob, his name later on changed it to Israel. He had 12 sons. Uh -huh. They later on became a nation in time, uh -huh. which you are a part of. We went through the book of Deuteronomy 28, and all of the curses identify the so-called blacks and Hispanics as the Israelites by nationality, not, not by faith. You can't not convert, faith. not by faith. That's like saying, by faith, I can become a Chinese. Does that make sense? By faith, not by sight. Yeah. I understand that. Two different but things. All things are possible according to the word. I get it. But can you convert to another nationality by faith? It's impossible, right? These were a nation of people. You can't not convert into another nation nationality because you believe that. It's impossible. Now you say... Those that believe in the Father can't be saved by the Father. You saying it's something that Jesus can't do? I'm going to show you what Jesus can do. I'm going to show you what yeah. He did do. I'm going to show you. This is the Book of Hebrews. Get his brother a Bible. I want him to. You I got, got your Bible, brother? I own a Bible. If you could, just open it to him. I, I want him. I, I, I want you. To, I, I want you to see this verse. I'm with. Saying, I, I don't need nobody Bible. Well, All right. But I read you can go to Hebrews nine and verse. We'll start at verse fourteen. So we read in context, right? Hebrews nine and fourteen. I'm going to read two verses for you. We really got to run after this, so I'm going to be quick as I can, so be patient. All right, 9, verse 14. Read down to verse 15. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ... So, just to bring you up to speed, the context of this chapter was talking about sacrifice, how they didn't avail it to anything. The animals couldn't take away our sins. It could do anything to us consciously. This is why he sent the Holy Spirit. So it says, these things didn't have none, none, none effect, right? But how much what? How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through eternal spirit offered himself without spot, without sin, to God, purge your conscience from dead works. He purged our conscience from dead works, animal sacrifice. Read. To serve the living God. Read. And for this cause. And for this cause. Read. He is the mediator. He is the what? Mediator of the New Testament. The New Testament is what? Um, what did you say your name was? Mills. Mills. The New Testament is what? So what does that involve, right? The first covenant, huh? The next book after the Old Testament. Right, but let's, let's identify what that covenant is, or that testament is. The first testament or covenant was with the blood of animals, right? You agree, right? I'm going to read that for you. You mean sacrifice? With sacrifice, there you go. But I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to make sure you understand it. Okay. Hold that. Give me Psalms 50. Psalms 50, verse 5. Psalms 50 and verse 5. The way you understand the Bible is precept upon precept. Right. Now, again, what you... The officer was bringing out earlier was what's some of the, the catastrophic things that happened to us in history. The point you brought up was being deceived. 
deception, right? We have been lied to about this Bible. We have been told that this book belongs to everybody. Brother, this is this is history. When you come from, from a standpoint from what they're trying to teach us is that this is the book of faith. Everybody can be a child of God if they just believe. The children of God are identified as the children of Israel. I can actually read that in the Bible. I'll show you that. It don't say everybody can be a child of God if they just believe. People might teach them, but that's wrong. I'm going to get that. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, well, what you said. It says all of you. By what you said, Bill, now, again. The nation of Israel. I got it, Bill, you know, but this is the thing. I mean. What you're saying, we should be able to find that in the Bible. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So I want you to show me that verse. But let's get this first understanding of who Christ died for. What is covenant? Let's read it. Psalms chapter 50 verse 5. Well, Gather my saints together unto me. Uh -huh. Those that have made a covenant. Those that have made a what? Covenant. The word goes into testament. Covenant testament. Same thing. Read. With me by sacrifice. By sacrifice. Now, what is the new covenant referring to? Sacrifice, sacrifice of who? Who? Christ. Jesus Christ, right? No longer the blood of animals, but the blood of Christ, right? right. Now, let's go back. Blood and water of Christ. You can say that. That come from inside. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You can say that. All right. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. Look it up. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Three. That by means of death, for the redemption. For the what? Redemption. For the what? Redemption. What does that word mean? Redemption, right? To redeem, right? To save. Bring back to Read. Of the transgression. Of the what? Transgressions that were under the first testament. Who was under that first testament? Bring it out. Bring it out. Who? What people was under that first testament? The Israelites. So it says, by this means of death for the redemptions of transgressions of for them that was under the first testament. It's telling you right there who Christ died for. He came to redeem those that were under the first testament. They needed a sacrifice. He was replacing what their forefathers used to do by his blood. Read on. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. This is why it says whosoever believe of them might receive everlasting life. See, that's why I was saying we got to understand the under, the understanding of the Bible. We got to read it in context because if we go by for what they told us, we see we read whosoever and say, oh, that's everybody. But again, you got to understand who was this record written for? Right. It was written for the children of Israel. That's, right. that's who Christ died for. Now, give me another one. Hebrews 8 and 8. Read verse 8. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. Start at verse 7. Verse 7. For if the first covenant had been faultless, but if that first covenant had been faultless, meaning it was perfect, read, then should no place have been sought for the second. Read. For finding fault with them. For finding fault with them, the Israelites. Wow. He saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. And I will make a new covenant. With the house of Israel, with the who? Right. house of Israel, uh -huh. right. and with the house of Judah. That's it. That's the end of the statement. That's right. That covenant, that new covenant, which was Christ, was for Judah and the house of Israel. Right. Right. You understand? So then he say, then he baptized all of you. Say he speaking Judah. Now let's get that verse. Cause I said everything must be proven through Scripture. Yes. Show me that verse. You say that verse. That verse. So you saying Bible. that's referring to everybody, right? There's a Bible right there. There's the Bible right there. All right, well, I ain't gonna just flip through the allude whole to the scripture. Maybe I remember where it is. What's what's in? Be ye baptized. Be ye baptized. Uh, all of you. I'm saying it say what it say? It say be ye baptized all of you. Is it Acts two? Let's get Acts two. I want I want to get that verse you're talking about. Right. Acts two. Get Acts two for this brother. It is Acts 2. I know exactly what you're talking about. Acts 2. Acts 2, 38, right? Read it. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Read it out. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized. Read. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Read. For the remission of sins. Read. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Read. For the promise is unto you. For the what? The promise 
is unto you and to your children. Who was he talking to? Jump up. Let's find out who was he talking to. Read verse 21. Verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel. That's, That's a continual right. conversation. That's right. He was talking to the same people. That's, That's right. right. Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. He wasn't talking to nobody else. You understand? Do you believe it? Everything in that word. <laughs> Alright, well we just read out of the word, brother. Right. The word is for you. You can't include everybody into a covenant right. that God made with you. Right. 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 Now I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some understanding of what is going to take place. Because maybe you find it hard to say, well, how can God re reject everybody? Brother no, he did. No, he did. No, but here's the thing. If it makes you feel any better, like the brother brought up, they will be servants to us. The thing is, is that we will set this world in order. Right. The nations will even start applying, applying God's commandments. They will acknowledge him as God over the earth. But that doesn't put them above you. Right. And that's how the Bible must be understood. He didn't die for them. You understand so that? Say every knee shall bow. Yeah. That's, that, will shall that will happen. That will happen. That, that doesn't mean that they take your position as being the chosen people. I'm just saying, right. every knee bow. Huh? Every tongue confess. We got to wrap it up, bro. That's everybody. But they, they just, that, mean, that, that doesn't mean that Christ died for them. Whatever, You're above them. The you understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.